Hello, my name is Christopher Inman. I am the Vice President of Oakland University's International Association of Hydrogen Energy Chapter. I am presenting you with our entry to the first annual IAHE Portable Hydrogen Fuel Cell Competition. Our fuel cell stack was designed with three goals in mind. Portability, low cost, and simplicity. We want the design to be practical, yet easy to manufacture. The fuel cell stack contains four individual cells connected in series, each with an active area of 25 square centimeters. The cathode is an open channel design, with air delivered by an external fan. The anode contains two hydrogen ports, one of which can be used for purging the cell. The membrane electrode assemblies contain 0 0.2 and 1.0 milligrams of platinum per square centimeter on the anode and cathode respectively. The polymer electrolyte used is a Nafion N112 self-humidified membrane. A self-humidified membrane was used because this allows the system to not require a humidifier. Flow channel plates consist of a 2.4 mm thick composite graphite material, which includes flow channels and manifolding. The anode flow channels are a simple and easy to manufacture straight channel design. The cathode flow channels use an open straight channel design that allows the fuel cell to use ambient air as an oxidizer. The anode plates are constructed out of a 316 stainless steel alloy that is 1.5 mm thick with a 12 hole bolt pattern. The end plates are insulated from the current collectors using a Teflon coated fiberglass material. The current collectors are constructed from a 101 ultra pure copper alloy and contain tabs for mounting load and voltage sensing wires. To provide an adequate seal from the fittings to the manifolding and the flow channel plates, X rings were placed inside of the current collectors. Each individual cell contains a single Teflon coated fiberglass gasket on the anode and a pure Teflon gasket on the cathode. All fuel cell components are aligned and held in place with Teflon alignment pins. In order to ensure adequate airflow to the cathode side of the fuel cell stack, a CFD analysis was performed. The results of the analysis show a pressure drop of approximately 5.73 pascals with an inlet velocity of 0.057 meters per second for a stoichiometric flow rate at a current density of 0.8 amps per centimeter squared. The fuel cell system design contains four major components. The fuel cell stack, a metal hydride hydrogen storage canister, a single fan for cooling and air supply, and a controller with all necessary electronics including a small capacitor bank. Other devices such as a pressure regulator and a shutoff valve are required as well. A Simlink model was created to simulate and determine the performance and rate of fuel consumption of the entire fuel cell system. To create the fuel cell stack model, experimental data of the fuel cell stack was used to characterize its behavior. The fuel cell stack itself has a maximum continuous power output of 12.5 watts. However, sustainable power in excess of 17 watts can be achieved for several minutes at a time. At the maximum continuous power output, the fuel cell stack has a total efficiency of about 38%. The total performance of the stack is mostly limited by oxygen concentration on the cathode. The entire power system, including all ancillary devices, has a peak continuous power output of approximately 11.7 watts with an efficiency of 36%. The total fuel cell stack consumes about 11.7 standard liters of hydrogen per hour. Given the chosen metal hydride canister, this would provide enough fuel to power the fuel cell at full power for about 1.5 hours. The estimated total volume of the system, including all components, is about 356 cubic centimeters, with a total mass of about 1 kilogram. This gives a volumetric power density of about 0.033 watts per cubic centimeter, and a gravimetric power density of 11.21 watts per kilogram. The estimated total cost of the fuel cell stack was approximated to be about $322, including all materials but excluding labor. The majority of this cost is due to the expense of the catalyst material used in the membrane electrode assemblies. For the entire fuel cell power system, a total cost of $614 was estimated, given the chosen components. The majority of the cost coming from the fuel cell stack itself and the hydrogen storage canisters. 
While we felt that our fuel cell stack performed reasonably well at an output of 12.5 watts of continuous power, we felt some significant improvements could be made to future designs. The biggest improvement would to be use a larger or more efficient external fan to reduce the activation losses due to poor oxygen concentration. This could be further improved by using a more open cathode flow channel design. There are also some improvements to portability that could be made by using thinner bipolar plates. This concludes our presentation of our entry into the first annual IAHE Portable Fuel Cell Design Competition. Thanks for watching.